Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord, everybody. The scripture says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Now, if there ever was a time to admonish and give God the fruit of your lips today, it is Resurrection Sunday. And how many know he got up? He got up. He got up. So that's reason enough to give God the fruit of your lips this morning. Come on and offer God a praise on this Sunday morning. The angel said, he is not here. He has risen. Wherever he was, he's not there anymore. The scripture says he got up with all power. Power and authority. So this is an opportunity to give God the fruit of your lips. Come on and admonish God. Let God know that you're appreciative of the opportunity. Let God know that you're appreciative of the opportunity. For it had not been for God who was on our side. Where would we be this morning? He is risen. And when he got up, healing got up. And when he got up, victory got up. And when he got up, provision got up. How many are grateful this Sunday morning that our God of our Savior, the King of Kings and the, and the Lord of Lords, he got up with all power, all power, all power, all power in his hands. Come on and admonish this great big God we serve. Let him know that you're grateful this morning. Father, we're grateful. Father, we're grateful. Father, we're grateful. It said he never said a mumbling word. He could have sent legions to take him off the cross, but he never said a mumbling word. That's reason enough to give him praise this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He has risen. Somebody else would have stayed in place. But the God of the universe said, I'm going to get up this time. I'm going to get up this time. So we honor him. We honor him. We honor him. Come on and wake up your praise this morning. Wake up your worship this morning. It's the least we can do. It's the least we can do. It's the least we can do. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Happy Resurrection Sunday, Morning Star. We honor to praise God for the opportunity to assemble on this day. Praise and thank and praise God for each and every one. You, you, and you. We honor you for your presence in this place today. You got on your Easter best, that's good. You got on your pastel ties, that's fine. But I come with an encounter with God today. I come with an encounter with God today. I want to engage him with our Savior today. I want to bear witness to a miracle, a sign, and a wonder today. I want confirmation today. I want somebody baptized in waters. It'd be a good day for somebody to go down in waters of baptism today. It'd be a good day to bear witness to somebody receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. How many want to receive, see that today? How many want to bear witness to that today? We'll charge the atmosphere. You want a miracle? Charge the atmosphere. You want miracles, signs, and wonders? Charge the atmosphere. Place your logs upon the fire and watch God ignite this place. Charge the atmosphere. The rest is up to God. Lay it at the feet of the altar. And the rest is up to God. We honor and praise God. Everyone standing as we prepare for prayer. We honor and praise God for the opportunity to assemble on this Sunday morning. We thank and praise God for the opportunity because it didn't have to be this way. When you look back over your life and you consider all the mishaps and the mishaps that you've had, it didn't have to be this way. So we're honored to be able to assemble on this Sunday morning. It'd be a great opportunity to lay your logs upon the fire. Let's be participatory today. Don't stand idle, but when God wants to move, he needs to know where his people are. 
So your praise will activate the move of God in this place today. You don't feel like praising? Praise Him anyway. You having a rough morning? Praise Him anyway. Watch God begin to break up every fallow ground in this place and watch Him be able to exceed your expectation in this place. How many know God can do that today? We honor and praise God for the opportunity to assemble as we prepare for prayer on this Sunday morning. We're going to continue to pray for all those families who were affected by the, the bridge collapsing there in Baltimore. No, it's no uh, secret to anyone in this household on today of the horrific act that took place up in Baltimore. We're going to continue to keep those families in prayers. Moments like this are when we should unify even that much more. There has to be someone standing in the gap on behalf of those who do not know God and the pardon of their sins. There has to be intercessors in these moments that can stand in the gap on behalf of our brothers and sisters. So this is an opportunity for us to lay down before those who have been impacted and continue to pray for those who have been in the, impacted in Baltimore. Continue to pray for uh, prayers for the First Lady Walters family and the Davis family and the loss of Mother Mildred Davis in Jesus. And they continue to keep her in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to keep that whole family in prayer. Granny was a, was a pillar within our community itself. And someone said to me this just recently, she wasn't just their grandmother, she was everybody's grandmother. So we continue to keep that family in prayer in the, in the loss of Mother Davis in Jesus' name. We continue to pray for our president, our government officials, that they make wise decisions on behalf of our people in the name of Jesus Christ. And we continue to pray for greater morning star, the marriages, the families, the sick, the shut in, those who you do not see, you can send your prayers to them. How many believe that morning star? You can send your prayers to where they, where they are even in this moment. And we want to pray for the salvation and the restoration of souls. Today would be a fine day to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Today would be an excellent day to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Every day is a good day to receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. But today will be a fine day. If there are any unspoken prayer requests, let it be known. Just signifying by the raising of your hand. I see hands. I see hands. Every hand that's raised right now is a hand of a testimony that's going to come forth. I believe that today. If you raise your hand, I believe God is going to birth a testimony through you. Whatever your secret prayer request is, God's going to give you an audible testimony to share with your brothers and sisters on behalf of what it is you stand in. How many believe that morning star? Let's look to this great, big, powerful God that we serve. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you once again for your love, your kindness, your tender mercies upon our life. Father, we're grateful, oh God, for this is the day that you have made and we will indeed rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we're grateful, Lord God, for the opportunity to assemble, Lord God. Lord God, you give, gave to us, Lord God, something we could not give to ourselves today. You gave us life, health, and strength today. And Father, we say thank you. Thank you for extending yourself today. Thank you, Lord God, for thinking upon us even one more day, Lord God. You didn't have to do it, but Father, you did. Lord God, we're thankful, Lord God. Oh God, if we come, Lord God, as a body, Lord God, unified in this moment, Lord Jesus, asking you, Lord God, to forgive us of sins, both known and unknown, Lord God. Those things, Lord God, that breed separation, Lord God, from you and our Lord God, our, and us, Lord God, we ask you even right now, oh God, to extend yourself again to us, even right now, Lord God, and extend grace, Lord God, and mercy upon us, even, Lord God, as we lift up our hands today, Lord God. Lord God, we want every, Lord God, facet of this service to count, Lord God. Oh God, so we lay aside anxiety and distraction. We lay aside, Lord God, soulfulness and laziness. We lay aside, Lord God, anything, Lord God, that would, oh God, prohibit us. Oh God, for giving your name the praise, the glory, and the honor that it is due, Lord God, for you are worthy today. Lord God, we honor you today, Lord God. Oh God, for this is the day, Lord God, we sat back and we acknowledge, Lord God, that you did for us, Lord God, what we could not do for ourselves, Lord God. Oh God, you put on the sins of the world, Lord God. Oh God, you wrapped yourself in flesh today, Lord God. Oh God, you bore, Lord God, all of our mishaps and our mistakes. You bore, oh Lord God, all, Lord God, our errors, Lord God, upon you, Lord God. And Lord God, you wore them, Lord God, upon that cross, Lord God. Oh God, you died for the sins of the world, Lord God. Oh God, that will reject you, Lord God. And Father, Lord God, we come, Lord God, as a remnant on this Sunday morning, Father, to say thank you. Oh God, Lord God, whatever the world is doing today, Lord God. Oh God, whatever mishaps, Lord God, whatever mistakes, Lord God, Father, we say thank you. Oh God, for everything, Lord God, that we've done in these bodies, oh God. For every time, Lord God, we promise, oh God. Oh God, that we would not, Lord God, return to those things, oh God, that kept us, Lord God, separate from you, Lord Jesus. And yet we return, Father, we say thank you. Lord God, we say thank you, Lord God. Oh God, for bearing the sins of the world, Father, you thank you. Oh God, for being, being the sacrifice, oh God, that we needed. Father, we thank you. Oh God, for standing in the gap, Lord God. Oh God, for bridging the gap, Lord God, and bringing us back into rightful fellowship. Father, we say thank you. 
Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you, Lord God. Oh God, Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we had 10,000 tongues. It would not be enough, oh God. But Father, we will give our best today, oh God. We will open up our minds, oh God. Oh God, and submit, oh God, in this moment, oh God, to your will and your purpose, oh God. Father, we ask you, oh God, to rid us of anything that's not like you, oh God. Oh God, we ask you, oh God, to wake up our spirits, wake up our souls. We command our souls to bless the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ on today. We command our souls to wake up, oh God, and give you the fruit of lips that you're doing today, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask you, oh God, to remember each and every one upon our prayer list in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remember those, Lord God, those who are impacted, oh God, by that bridge, oh God, in Baltimore, oh God, those families, oh God, that lost loved ones, oh God. Wrap your loving arms around them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray a prayer of comfort in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remember the Davis family, oh God. Even in the loss, oh God, of Mother Davis, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, touch, heal, and deliver, oh God. Oh God, bring, oh God, a pair of comfort, oh God. Oh God, for her testimony, oh God. Oh God, that brought so many, oh God, out of the darkness today, oh God. Father, help us, oh God, to point them, oh God, to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, there are ailments in the house, Father. There is lack in the house, Father. Oh God, there is, Lord God, those who need deliverance in the house today. Father, be the God of all needs today, Lord God. Be the God of every need in the house today, Lord God. Be the God of provision today, oh God. Be the God of healing today, oh God. Be the God of miracles today, oh God. Be the God of salvation today, oh God. Be the God of deliverance today, oh God. Father, throw your weight around, Lord Jesus. Lord God, let your agenda be the agenda of the day. Father, have your way in this place like never before. And Lord God, it be a fitting day, oh God, to see somebody baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, Lord God, it be a fitting day, oh God, to receive somebody, Lord God, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Father, our hearts are ready. Father, our minds are ready. Lord God, activate this place like never before, Lord God. Those, Lord God, who came and come to the threshold, Father, let them, Lord God, leave here forever changed. And Father, remember the man of God, Lord God, as he brings forth a word on today, Lord God. Oh God, a word that puts the hearts of man to ask, what must I do to be saved, Lord God? Lord God, we'll activate our praise. We'll activate our worship. We'll activate our hallelujah. We'll activate our thank you, Jesus. But Father, you're worthy of it. On this day, Lord God, and Father, if you do these things for us, we'll be careful to give your name the praise. The glory and the honor, it shall be yours. It is in a mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Come on and give God the fruit of your lips right now. Come on and wake up your praise even right now. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up your praise even right now. Come on and charge this atmosphere even right now. We need God today. We need God today. We need God today. We need God today. Tomorrow might be too late. We need God today. Continue to give him praise. Continue to give him praise. Don't stop. Don't stop. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't have to break it. Keep it going. Keep it going. This is for us. Just invite him in. The mighty man. Thank you, Jesus. The mighty man, mighty man. That's right. We're not gonna break it. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's been waiting to talk to you all week, all day. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna come to you from Romans, the 12th chapter. We're reading from Romans, the 12th chapter, starting at verse 8. As you get your Bibles, we want to thank the Lord for another day. He didn't have to give it to us, but he did. Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 8, reads as, Or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with, with diligence, he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness let love be without dismissal 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 excuse me appear that which was evil cleave to that which is good be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love in honor preferring one another not slowful in business fervent in spirit serving the Lord rejoicing in hope patience in tribulation Continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the mercy of saints, giving to hospitality. Let God bless and help the word. 
and bleed and come forth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, you can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. He's a good God. Lord, I just came to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for how you died on the cross, Lord, for our sins. Thank you how you rose with all power in your hands. Lord, we just came to say thank you. Hallelujah. The scripture said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. How many came to bless him this morning? Come on, you guys, you ought to open up your mouth and just give him the fruit of your lips this morning and bless him for all that he's done for you. All that he's brought you through. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With the heart.
Come on, he has done great things. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many are glad to be in the house one more time on this Resurrection Sunday? Praise the Lord, everybody. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Today is Sunday, March 31st, 2024. These are church announcements. Amen. Teen Youth and Bible Empowerment will be this Friday. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm a grown-up, but I'm excited about Teen and Youth Bible Empowerment. This Friday, this Friday, April 5th, will be at 7.30 p.m. And for more information, you can see Sister Crystal Butler. So we want to see all the youth back out this Friday in support of the Teen and Youth. Women's Ministry will have a meet and greet on Friday, April 26th at 7.30 p.m. Amen. Women's Ministry. <laughs> Women's Ministry Meet and Greet, Friday, April 26th at 7.30 p.m. And for more information, you can see Lady uh, Walters. Amen. Amen. Bible Empowerment is every Wednesday starting at 7.30 p.m. And every first Wednesday is virtual Bible Empowerment. You can join us on uh, Facebook and YouTube. To receive surface updates and cancellations via text message, please text the word GMS Waldorf to 205 five nine six zero five seven eight and every first and third Wednesday is right hand of fellowship so if you've been watching us on our live stream if you've been joining us here in the sanctuary and you are looking for a church home we would love 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 to have you join GMS Waldorf amen amen right hand of fellowship every first and third Sunday you can go to our website and that's www.gmswaldorf.org to fill out your membership form on the website. Amen. 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 We are currently in phase two of our Sun Grove Building Fund campaign and we are excited about it. God, we're grateful for what you've done so far. If you want to continue to make your contributions, please listen to the following options. You can visit our website, www.gmswaldorf.org, under the Give tab. You can text the word GIVE, and that's G-I-V-E, to 301-638-8411. Or you can cash app, dollar sign, GMS Waldorf. Or if you're here on site at the church, you can give cash or electronically. And also at the website, you can give your pledge to donate at a later time. Amen. We are currently, currently at $19,000 of our milestone, $25,000. And we have faith. We know that we will meet this goal, that we need all of your help in Jesus' name. Amen. If you desire to be baptized, you have three options. You can be baptized here today on site. The water is ready and the deacons are here. Resurrection Sunday is a great day to be baptized. Amen. You can schedule your baptism on our website at gmswaldorf.org slash schedule dash baptism or you can call us here at the church 301-843-0732. Now we want to take this moment to acknowledge any first time visitors we may have with us today. If you are a first time visitor here with us in the sanctuary today, just raise your hand so we can acknowledge who you are. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're so glad to have you here. If you're watching us, we are on live stream. We want to say praise the Lord on behalf of our pastor, District Elder Dr. Chino L. Walters, and our First Lady, Lady Tamara Walters. We're so glad that you came to fellowship with us today. You could have been anywhere else, but God has you here today for a reason. We're so glad about it. GMS Waldorf, why don't we stand and sing our welcome song? If you notice on the back of the chair in front of you, there's a QR code where you can stand and give us your information. We would love to stay in contact with you. GMS Waldorf, this brief each other and our visitors in Jesus' name. Oh, 
Come on, somebody. Say welcome. welcome. Oh, we invite you today to lift up the name of welcome. Jesus. Say welcome. Certainly we, we say praise the Lord to everybody on today. Oh, come on, morning star. Let's give the Lord praise for all of our friends and our visitors that are here today. Oh, that's a weak praise. Come on. Now let's lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, lift up the name of the Lord today. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, this is the good, this is a good day. Hallelujah. To lift up the Savior. Hallelujah. Anybody know he's worthy? Oh, don't fool me. Anybody know he's worthy today? Hallelujah. Uh, just tell a neighbor, I came to give him praise. Now come on, just look at a neighbor and tell him, I just came to give God praise. Come on, tell him, I came to tell him, thank you. Come on, bug that neighbor one more time and tell him, you don't have to remind me of the goodness of the Lord. Oh, the Lord's been good to me. Good, been good, been good been good I see I have to pump you today I, I see I have to prime you today amen amen but if there's about five witnesses amen that can testify if it had not been for the Lord who was on your oh come on somebody anybody want to be honest this Sunday morning hallelujah it's of the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed hallelujah because his compassion fell not amen they are new every morning great is his faithfulness I, I say great is his faithfulness let me look over here great is his faithfulness you missed it great is his faithfulness oh he's been faithful to me amen I, I don't know elder I, I, I might be in the wrong place today Y'all holding back. What, what you're holding back for? What you're waiting for? You got a reason and an obligation to tell the Lord thank you today. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you today. If I have to do it all by myself, ah, God's been good to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody make today count. Come on, somebody make today purposeful. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Come on, can we just praise him for a moment? Hallelujah. Thank you. I need a tambourine player. That's it. Come on. This is a day of victory. Come on. This is a day of victory. Hallelujah. Oh, I have the victory today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on, somebody. Come on, put a Pentecostal clap to it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, he's worthy. Oh, now you. 
Now you may be seated. Amen. We invite all of our friends and our visitors to praise the Lord. We invite you to respond to God if he's been good to you. Oh, let me look over. We, we invite you to respond to God only if he's been good to you. If he's not a good God, then I get it. But if he's been good to you, oh, God, you can respond to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it feels like, feels like double dutch. Some of y'all ain't jumping in it yet. You just waiting. Come on, the water's already troubled. Hallelujah. Somebody need to break that box. Oh, come on here. Somebody need to pour out today. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, help us to get on one of the Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord today. I bless the name of the Lord today. Because he's worthy. After hearing all of these tragic Amen. Reports. Amen. God's been good to me. Glory. After seeing all of these, praise the Lord, funeral announcements, I said, God's been good to me. Glory. Don't deserve it. But he's been good to me. Hallelujah. 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 Another day to get it right. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord today. Brother Isaiah, help me out. The monitor, sir. We honor the Lord today. You may be seated. Amen. Now, I want to admonish you not to taper off your praise today. Amen. That's across the board. Amen. I want us to have, amen, an explosive response to God today. Amen. Amen. Because God has just been too good to us. Amen. To remain silent. Amen. To be mute. Amen. To come to be entertained. Amen. But we have to be mindful that any time we come in the presence of the Lord, our job is to serve. Come on, somebody. Our job is to pour out. Amen. Amen. What is it that the master wants from us? Amen. Amen. Certainly we honor the Lord. Amen. On this wonderful Sunday, this Resurrection Sunday. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. That the Lord has saw fit. Amen. For us to gather together today. Amen. We certainly honor the Lord for all of our first-time visitors. Morning Star, let's celebrate the Lord one more good time. Oh, come on, let's give the Lord praise. Amen. We thank God for you all that are with us today. Amen. 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 God has certainly been kind to us. Amen. Uh, you all have heard uh, all of the announcements. Amen. But I want to, amen, just put you in remembrance, amen, of Amen. Um, of course, this uh, tragedy that took place there in Baltimore. Amen. We certainly want to uh, keep those families, amen, that have, that are affected in prayer. Amen. We want to keep them lifted up. Amen. I was sharing with my, my team on uh, this week, amen, earlier in the week, amen, uh, my virtual team, of course, amen. I was telling them uh, we have to find a reason to thank God every day. Oh, yes. Amen. Because sometimes, amen, just doing life even has a way of uh, deceiving us. Amen. Oh, y'all going to be too quiet today. Amen. Sometimes just doing life have a way of deceiving us. Amen. Making us feel as though, amen, that uh, our life is not productive. Our life is not worth living. Amen. Uh, if any of you all have the Lord on your side, your life is worth living. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Your, your, your worst day on this side. 
Amen. It's better than your best day living for the enemy. Amen. Amen. Because we know that all things work together for good to them that love you. Amen. Anybody love him today? Amen. To them that are called. Amen. According to his purpose. Tell somebody, I, I have purpose today. I, I need you to minister. Come on. Tell somebody, I have purpose today. You, you didn't do it. Touch him and tell him, you have purpose today. I promise you, if you be obedient, look him in the face and say, you have purpose today. Yes, you do. The master has need of you. The master has need of you. Yes, you. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. When everyone else threw your way, amen, the Lord says there's still value, still purpose. Hallelujah. I have a work for you to do. Amen. So I want us to be mindful, amen, that the enemy is a deceiver, a master deceiver. Amen. But Jesus made it clear that he hath come that we might have life. Amen. And that more abundantly. Amen. And so we, we celebrate the Lord on today. Amen. You all have heard all of the announcements. Amen. Uh, our calendar is in full swing. Amen. And we're asking all the saints, amen, to make sure, amen, you take advantage of all of the uh, ministry opportunities here. Amen. In Waldorf, amen. Our young people will be coming together. Amen. After a few years of not being able to assemble, they'll be assembling this Friday. Amen. 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 And so we want you all to bring those young folk out. Amen. The women's ministry will have their kickoff of service towards the end of this month as well. Amen. And so we're just excited. Amen. About what God is doing. Amen. I want to uh, keep this in the forefront of your mind. Amen. That we are indeed, in fact, amen, in phase two of our building fund effort. Amen. Amen. We, we, are in, we are in motion. Amen. Amen. And we are anticipating, amen, talk with Deacon Green. Uh, this week we are anticipating hearing back from uh, one of our uh, engineers, if you will, Amen. In regards to uh, our site plan, amen. And of course, uh, we receive their proposal, amen. So we can look at that proposal, amen, and see uh, their phases uh, as it relates to us implementing, amen, the necessary documents uh, within the county, amen. Of course, there are some uh, some hills uh, that we have to climb, amen. But if you pray hard enough, we don't have to climb any hill. Come on, somebody. Amen. Trust the Lord. Amen. Lord, re remove that heel. Amen. Those heels in front of us. And so I'm asking the saints to be diligent uh, in your prayers. Amen. Continue to pray. Amen. For this effort. Amen. Because I'm trusting the Lord. Amen. But I understand that this is going to take the whole house. Amen. This is going to take all of us. Amen. Trusting and believing God. Amen. For a miracle. Amen. He has already shown his hand and his favor upon us. Amen. And we want to continue in that. Amen. Of course, uh, we can't do that with just praying. Amen. We, it takes finances. Don't be quiet. Come on, somebody. It, ta it takes finances. It takes your money. Amen. It takes your money to do it. Amen. Uh, we celebrate the Lord. I know the number. Uh, it's not accurate because I know it's more than 19,000. That was last week's number, but we can celebrate the Lord right now for 19,000, amen, dollars that we have raised, amen, for our building fund effort, amen. Of course, you all remember that our milestone is 25,000, and so, amen, let's go ahead and raise that other 6,000 quickly, amen. Let's do that quickly. There are multiple ways to do it. Amen. There are multiple efforts, amen, that we're asking the saints, amen, to participate in. Amen. We have, of course, the um, we have the shoe size campaign uh, effort. Uh, Sister Barbara, raise your hand real quick. Amen. If you need a form, we need you to connect with Sister Barbara. Amen. This thing works. I want you to hear me. It works. Amen. You just have to work it. Amen. Work it with faith. Amen. And trusting God. Amen. Because there are those out there that want to give. Amen. And they don't know who to give to. Amen. But we can tell them there is a ministry you can give to. Amen. Amen. That is doing kingdom business. 
amen, and community work, amen. And so we're asking the saints, amen, to be committed, amen, to the giving, amen, to our building fund, amen, amen. At this time, we're going to turn you into the hands, amen, of Sister Grant, amen. She's going to give us further instructions on how we can give on this wonderful Resurrection Sunday in Jesus' name. to us 1,000 fold, oh God. Use this money for the upbuilding of your kingdom, oh God, as you see fit, Father. We thank you, and we're going to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody.
you know he's the risen king?
Hallelujah. Come on, I need the whole house to testify. Hallelujah. Where is he seated at? Seated in majesty. Hallelujah. You are. You are the risen King. Yes, Death could not hold you down. Hallelujah. He has all power. Oh, he has all power. Hallelujah. Over death, hell, and the grave. Power over all the works of the enemy. You are. You are the risen king. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I can't hear you, Zion. Come on, you declare it. Hallelujah. Let's testify today. Death could not. Death. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. Come on, let's say that again. Death could not hold him. Death could not hold you down. Hallelujah, God. You are. Where is he seated? Seated in majesty. You are. You are the risen king. Thank you, praise day. Hallelujah. Come on, you say it. Hallelujah. Come on, I want to hear your voices. Come on. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. He's won it for you and I. The sting of death couldn't hold him down. Lord, I thank you. He got up with all power in his hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's lift your hands toward heaven and tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, I can't hear you. Come on, tell them thank you. Come on, open your mouth and tell them thank you. Come on, thank God for Calvary. Thank God for the sacrifice of Christ. Come on, tell them thank you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All power is in his hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for dying. Hallelujah. Thank you for getting up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you can get up too today. Hallelujah. 
you can get up from where you are today hallelujah oh come on you can conquer hallelujah spiritual death today yes you can hallelujah oh you can have life today and that more abundantly tell them thank you thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to his name just put your hand on your chest put your hand on your chest and declare I have the victory today you didn't say it strong come open your mouth like your life depends on it and say I have the victory today oh come on say I have the victory today declare I am victorious today hallelujah hallelujah we don't walk in defeat defeat is not common with us oh come on somebody we don't lose we don't lose we are victorious in Jesus. Come on, somebody. Death has no power over us. Hallelujah. Because if I do die in Christ, hey, glory. That's the ultimate victory. Oh, y'all don't want to go there. Anybody in Christ today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. So in this life, I have victory. In the life to come, I have victorious power. Oh, because he got up from the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. I come to rob death today. I come to rob death today. You don't have to stay the same way you are. Oh, come on, somebody. You can have that life more abundantly today. You can have power. You can walk in newness of life right now. Take those gray clothes off. Hallelujah. Take them off. If the angel told Mary Magdalene that he's no longer there, where they laid him, he's no longer. You don't have to be in the same place where the enemy tried to kill you. Somebody be prophetic and tell the devil, I'm no longer there. I'm no longer there. Then I'm on the heart. Where is he? I moved. <laughs> oh, help me. Where is he? I moved. I changed my address. Then I'm on the Yes. That's last year. I dwelled among the dead. Come on, somebody. I dwelled among the sinners. But I'm no longer there. Tell somebody your past is behind you because he got up. So when they say, Brother Mike, you acting different, tell them, yeah, I don't have the same clothes on. I have. I'm supposed to act different. Because the master got up. And since he got up, Elder Williams, I'm going to get up too. I'm going to get up too. I'm going to get out of this grave. Grab somebody by the hand and say, let's get out of this grave today. Come on, you can get out of it. Hallelujah. 
any grave diggers today. I come to dig up graves today. Yank that neighbor and tell him, get up, get up. It lives. Saints got no business walking around like we have no life. Hallelujah. Yeah, we go through. I said we go through. Through the shadow of death. Let me move on. We don't have to fear any evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of Calvary. Because of that death, that burial and resurrection. We also have resurrection power. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the Lord one more good time. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 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 You can give that burial site to somebody else. I came to live today. Sister Adams, I came to live today. Hallelujah. Good seeing you, dear. Glory to his name. Just look at your hands and, and just say, after all of that, after all that I've been through, and I'm still alive, All because of him. Glory. Talking about some death insurance. Praise him. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, if you got the Holy Ghost, just tell somebody you better not leave home without him. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Certainly we honor the Lord today. Oh, we respond here. We, we honor the Lord today. All that he's done. Again, we say praise the Lord to all of our friends and our visitors that are here. We pray that you have an encounter with God that it will forever change your life. Amen. I don't know about you, but every time I assemble with the people of God, amen, I expect God to do something. I'm not just going to come, just be here. No, come on somebody. Amen. I want to be able to walk away saying it was good. It was good that I showed up on Sunday morning. Amen, 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 amen. We're going to go quickly into the word of the Lord. Amen. If you can be so kind to rest to your feet. Amen. We're not going to tarry long with you, labor long with you. But we pray, amen, that the word of the Lord ministers to you as it has to me over the weekend. Amen. We have to be the first partakers, amen, of the word of the Lord, amen. Prayerfully, you have your Bibles. If you don't have a Bible, amen, you can follow along with us on your smartphone, amen, your tablet, whatever device that you may have brought today, amen. A very familiar passage of scripture will be in Ephesians chapter number two. Ephesians chapter number two, amen, and we're going to start. 
uh, with verse number one and we'll conclude with verse number five. I hope I gave that to the sound team. Amen. For time's sake, we'll just read those first five verses. Amen. And if you don't have a Bible, you do not have a band, a device to follow along with us. You can follow along with us on the screen. Amen. Again, that is Ephesians chapter 2. Amen. Starting with verse number 1, concluding with verse number 5. Amen. If you have it, declare, I have the word. And one more time, say, I have the word. And the word of the Lord reads, And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature watch this by nature praise the lord the children of wrath even as others but god tell somebody but god who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins have quickened us together with christ by grace ye I say, Father, your word is quick, it is powerful, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. We thank you for this moment, Lord, that you have assembled us again. Oh God, to reflect on your death, your burial, and ultimately your resurrection. Lord, we thank you, oh God, even now, Lord. Oh God, because we can testify today that we have the victory. Lord, I pray even now that you touch the hearts of those that are here today. Some have come for various reasons, oh God. But Lord, you know how to meet the need of everyone. Lord, I pray, oh God, that our faith please you. Lord, because without it is impossible to please you. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Father, we're going to be selfish today. And Lord, we're going to ask that you save somebody today. Oh yes, somebody needs to be baptized in your name. Do it today, Lord God. Oh Lord, we know you'll meet our needs, oh God. But Lord, we're asking that you answer the need of our brother today. The need of our sister today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask, oh God, that you make my tongue ready as a pen of a ready writer. God, speak through me in this moment as a two-edged sword. Lord, we give your name praise. We give your name the glory. It's in the mighty name Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you. Musicians reading quickly. Amen again for your hearing. Amen. Not having that much on the clock. Amen. Reading verse number one. Amen again for your hearing. Amen. Paul, amen here, uh, is declaring to this small church, amen, these Ephesian believers, if you will, amen. In this first verse of this second chapter, amen, Paul says, and in, in the place of reminding them, and he says that, uh, and you have he quickened uh, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. He wanted to put them in a place of remembrance. Amen. He says, and you uh, have he quickened uh, who were dead in trespasses and in sins. Amen. Uh, if I can leave a thought with you on today, just to embellish just a little bit. Amen. I want you to look at a neighbor that's sitting next to you. Amen. And say, neighbor. Oh, that's quiet. Come on, somebody. Look at them one more time and say, neighbor. neighbor. One more time. Say, hey, 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 neighbor. Because of Calvary, I can live again. Yes, because of Calvary, I can live again. He says, and you have he quickened, amen, who are dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. Because of Calvary. Amen. I can live again. Anybody grateful for that blood today? 
Oh, I thought this was an apostolic church. Anybody grateful? Amen. For that blood that was shed on Calvary. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I can live. Amen. Again. Amen. Because of the time. Amen. I don't want to uh, weary your patience, but I want to just bring uh, you into uh, remembrance of this particular passage. Amen. Of course, we all know, as I made mention earlier, amen, it is the Apostle Paul, amen, who is the author of this epistle. Amen. Of course, uh, we appreciate Paul. And, this, and he writes this letter, amen, while he was in Rome in prison. Amen. He writes this letter because he wanted to encourage, amen, all of the believers, amen, more importantly, praise the Lord, those churches, amen, that were established through his ministry. Amen. Paul is here behind, amen, the cold, if you will, bars, amen, in the Roman prison. Amen. He writes this letter because he wanted to encourage this small body of believers, amen, the Ephesian church. Amen. He wanted to encourage them. He wanted them to understand, amen, that through Christ, amen, that we have the victory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, you all know, praise the Lord, uh, Paul's, amen, his MO, if you will, amen, and all of the writings that he write, amen. In this particular letter, we see that his primary focus, if you will, was to exhort, amen, the saints, amen, and he's exhorting them, amen, because he wanted them to understand that there is a change, amen. That must take place. Pause here for a moment, Amen. Because when we look at the landscape of our time now, Amen. Unfortunately, everybody claiming Christ ain't acting like it. Y'all gonna be quiet today, Amen. Everybody, praise the Lord, that say they are a part of the bride, Amen. They don't act like it. They don't look like it, Amen. And I understand sometimes, Amen. We put too much emphasis, Amen, on our deportment, if you will, Amen. But there is a presentation amen of the believer amen there is a conduct amen so much so amen that the world should be able praise the lord to detect that there is something different in your life that i'm missing are y'all quiet today? Amen. When the world sees us, they ought to look upon us and wonder what is it about you? Amen. Anybody ever had that conversation before? Amen. Minding your own business, walking down the hall. Amen. Shopping. Amen. In the mall. And somebody looks upon you and says, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, my sister. Amen. Do you go to church? Amen. There's something different about you. I've noticed you don't laugh at everything yeah i noticed that you don't go everywhere amen and this was uh, uh, the mo of paul uh, writing to uh, amen this body of believers he wanted them to know uh, amen that when you are indeed in fact born again uh, amen you not only have power uh, amen over the works of the enemy uh, but you have power over your flesh y'all don't want me to preach to you today uh, amen power over your flesh power my God to live right and this is Paul praise the Lord amen this is his posture amen because he wanted them to understand amen being born again amen is more than shaking the hands of the preacher when we look at the text if you will amen we find that prior if you will of this second chapter of Ephesians amen we see Paul amen dealing with Christian conduct Amen. But he does not deal just along with Christian conduct. Amen. But he wanted to put them in remembrance of who they used to be. Can I talk to somebody today? Amen. I know you don't want the one that is sitting next to you. Amen. To know everything about your life. Are y'all going to be quiet today? Ah, what if the Lord just opened up your life above your head? Amen. And everybody gets to see who you used to be. Amen. There'll be no Nobody in this church today. Come on, somebody. Amen. It is Paul that puts them in a place of remembrance. 
Amen. Because he wanted them to understand. Amen. That before you sit sedity. Amen. Before. Amen. You live a life of self-righteousness. Amen. You must understand where you used to be. Oh yes. I come to a place in my life. Amen. If I don't have a reason to give God praise. I just look back over my life. And I consider. Amen. All of the disgusting things. I, y'all don't want me to go there. Amen. Some of y'all were some good Christians and some good sinners. Amen. But there's some of us. Amen. We don't want nobody to know what we did. My God, matter of fact, we don't want folk to know the thoughts that ran through our minds. Amen. But Paul put them in a place of remembrance. Amen. He said, I want you to understand. Amen. There was something about that blood. My God, there was something about the sacrifice of the Messiah. There's something about that shed blood of Jesus. My God, that when the enemy brings up your past, you can point to the blood. I'm in the wrong church. I look at somebody and say, hey neighbor, I am grateful for the blood. Yes, I'm grateful for the blood. Yes, beloved, he puts them in a place, my God, of remembrance. Amen. Yes, sometimes we have to do that. My God, sometimes we have to look back over, my God, our lives. Amen. And that should prompt a praise of thanksgiving. Oh, yes, there should never be a quiet mouth in the house. Uh All you have to do is use your memory and remind yourself uh, my God where you used to be uh, my God before you were saved uh, uh, because some of us uh, hallelujah we grew up in the church can I talk to you today Uh, we grew up in the church uh, my God but the church was not in us Uh, uh, we grew around the things uh, my God which were holy uh, but we didn't live a holy lifestyle Uh, uh, but one day uh, my God we took the Lord by his word Uh, do I got a witness today one day my God we said I want to try him for myself has anybody tried the Lord for yourself God and we were baptized in that mighty name of Jesus we were filled with the spirit with the hallelujah with the tongues that prove with evidence anybody glad you got the baptism of the Holy Ghost oh yes and because of that my God we can say I am now because of him oh yes I am now because of him but it cost something it did not just come easy oh yes it cost something for our freedom oh yes it cost something for our deliverance God there's something it's an idiom if you will that we have in the Marine Corps it says never given but earned oh yes we had to earn this thing somebody had to die for our freedom anybody grateful for the death of Christ not just because of his death but because he had power power to get up if you believe that on today why don't you clap your hands and give the Lord some praise in this house Oh yes, we're going to get there in a minute. Let somebody shout glory. It is Paul. Paul Paul says, I have to put you in remembrance. My God, I do this because sometimes we don't see the importance and the power of Calvary and the power of the resurrection. I want you to hear me today. We're not just coming into the house just to have, amen, a day of celebration no this is not just a symbolic act of appreciation for the resurrection you got to understand the spiritual importance of it if he didn't get up we would be 
getting lost right now. I feel like preaching now, Brother Haskins. If the Lord decided that he would not go to Calvary, we would be lost right now. I want you to hear me today. Not only do we have power over the grave, but we have power over the works of darkness. We have power over the works of the devil. We have power over sickness today. Uh, can I preach to somebody here? Uh, because the Lord got up uh, like he said he would. Uh, we can look, amen, sickness in the face. Uh, and we can declare we're going to get up from this. Uh, oh, yes, we can look at trouble. Uh, we can tell the enemy on every side. Uh, because of Calvary, uh, I can declare I have the victory. Uh, I feel like preaching to somebody. Uh, I need somebody to look at a neighbor today and say hey neighbor I know you have your Sunday best on but I come to remind you it's only because of his blood that we remain today and because of the blood I can declare that I have the victory I got to close now but I need somebody to look at a neighbor and say I have the victory you didn't say it with power. I said, lean over to a neighbor and say, I have the victory. And so we look at the text today. It is Paul talking to the Ephesians. He said, I got to remind you of who you used to be, but remind you of who you are. Oh, God, look at somebody and say, I'm so glad. I'm not who I used to be but I'm so glad of who I am now I might not be what I want to be but I'm so glad I'm no longer there y'all don't want me to talk to you I say act like a preacher and say I'm so glad I'm no longer there you know what there used to be you know how there used to rob you you know how there used to mess you up. Uh, anybody glad you're not there anymore? Uh, he tells the church, uh, he said, and you uh, have the quickened uh, who were dead in trespass and sins. Uh, it is Paul that uses uh, the strongest Greek definition. Uh, Zupiel. Uh, it means the cause to live uh, or to make a lie uh, or a seed. Uh, that produces life through the germination process. I feel like preaching to somebody. The Bible said it is the Lord who make us alive, who has caused us to live because without the shedding of blood there would be no remission of sins. And if we are living with sins on us, we are dead men walking but lean over to a neighbor and say hey neighbor I'm so glad that the Lord made me live you gonna get it before you get home he made me live because if we're honest today some of us love living in sin y'all don't like me do you some of us had a relationship with sin that was so strong only Calvary could break it only the power of God can break it I'm glad that the love of God drew me that's a forceful pull I feel like talking now he pulled me in while I was pulling away he wrestled for my life while the devil was trying to kill me Look at somebody and say, hey, 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 I didn't just walk to God. It was a fight, a fight for my life. The devil was pulling on one side and Calvary was working on the other. Paul said, I want to put you in remembrance that the Lord quickened you. He made you live.
live when you ought to have died when you wanted to die can I talk to somebody anybody ever lived a life that was so hard that the devil tried to cause you to take your own life he said there's no worth living but I'm so glad that when the Lord went down to the grave he snatched the authority the power of death he robbed it of his sting and he's given us power cause he has power that now that when the devil tries to bury me I got power to get up when the devil trying to rob me of my joy I can point to Calvary and tell the devil if it had not been for the blood you would have won but it's too late he already died but he didn't stay there he got he told the devil if I stay here then you will win but look at God God in flesh he said I'm going to leave the very clothes that I died in as a reminder to the onlookers I feel like preaching because somebody got the nerves to look for your marker where's the gravestone of this together altars go to the gravestone and when you get there there will be a reminder that I was once lost y'all don't want me to preach but tell somebody my grave clothes are still at the cemetery so when the devil comes to look at me I point to the clothes I don't wear them no more I don't live there no more I've been quick I've been quickened by the blood oh yes my love hold on the key it is John that said unless a weed falls to the ground and died it died alone but if it dies it brings forth much fruit when you look at the Greek quicken it comes from the germination process of a seed that's what the devil failed to realize that Jesus he was a seed if he understood the seed and the process of germination he would have never put him in the ground I got your clothes look at a neighbor and say I'm glad that the devil had permission to put me in the ground because the ground was a fertilizer of my spring up or my spring back I just heard the Holy Ghost I'm a comeback kid look at somebody and say hey neighbor I once was lost but I'm a comeback kid because of the blood because of Calvary shout glory shout glory I got to call he goes on and say he said hear me son sons and daughters he said in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith when Jesus got up it broke the wall a partition there's no more separation between God and man anybody glad for that when he got up he left the door open y'all don't like me when he got up he not only left the door open but he wanted to show you the cost he paid I dare 
get somebody uh, to reflect on Calvary. Uh, reflect uh, on that bloody, uh, that bloody day. Uh, reflect uh, or reflect uh, on the nails uh, that went through his hands. Uh, he stood there, uh, said not a mumbling word uh, because he was on an assignment. Uh, he understood uh, that the seed uh, had to go into the ground. Uh, I'm glad uh, that he got up uh, uh, from the grave. Uh, he goes on to say, uh, Wherefore, uh, I desire that you faint not uh, in my tribulation. Uh, and he goes on uh, and say, But now uh, in Christ Jesus, uh, ye have sometimes uh, were afar off uh, and made now by the blood of Christ. Uh, for he is our peace uh, who hath made both uh, one uh, and have broken down uh, the middle wall uh, a partition uh, between us uh, having abolished uh, in his flesh uh, the enmity uh, even the law uh, of commandments uh, contained in the ordinance uh, for to make uh, himself twain uh, one new uh, one new man uh, hallelujah uh, let me preach the text uh, and that he might uh, reconcile both uh, unto God uh, in one body uh, by the cross uh, having slain uh, the enmity but there uh, he slain death uh, and have come now uh, to preach peace uh, which you were afar on uh, and to them that are not uh, for through him uh, we both have access uh, by one flesh uh, unto the father uh, because he got up uh, we come to him now uh, we have access uh, unto the father uh, now now therefore uh, ye are no more uh, strangers uh, or foreigners uh, but fellow citizens uh, I can close the book uh, he got up uh, and passed out passports uh, y'all don't want me to talk uh, he got up uh, and said you're no longer uh, an alien uh, you're not a stranger uh, but you are a citizen uh, of a place uh, called heaven uh, look at somebody uh, and say I got my passport uh, yes sir uh, I'm a part of the bride uh, he goes on and he declares in the word and are built upon uh, the foundation uh, of the apostles and prophets uh, of Jesus Christ uh, him himself uh, being the chief cornerstone uh, and whom all uh, the building fittily uh, formed together uh, groweth unto an holy temple uh, uh, in the Lord uh, last verse uh, and whom ye uh, are also built uh, together for inhabitation of God through the Spirit. Well, what does all that mean? Well, the Spirit of God got into Jesus. Jesus went down to the girth. He died for our sins. He rose again. But he didn't stop. He said, I have to live somewhere. So I have to send a comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. I have to live somewhere. So Lord, the Lord was looking for a body. I got a few missed it. God was looking for a body before the foundation of the world and created himself a body in the person of Jesus Christ uh, put his spirit in him uh, so he can come to the earth uh, and die for the sins uh, of the world uh, when Jesus said it was finished uh, his spirit went back to the father uh, Jesus went back to the father uh, and God said uh, I got to send my spirit uh, in another body 
y'all missed that uh, I'm looking for bodies uh, so Jesus said uh, I will leave your comforters uh, for the comforter uh, which is the Holy Ghost uh, will be sent in my name uh, and so I come uh, to remind the devil uh, when Jesus died uh, it just opened up uh, a house uh, for the spirit to dwell uh, and if any man be in Christ uh, he's a new creature uh, old things uh, are passed away uh, behold all things uh, become new uh, so this resurrection Sunday uh, since he got up uh, you can get up uh, but since you're up uh, you got to be a house uh, where the spirit can live uh, is there any houses today uh, is there anybody uh, that has the house uh, of the living God uh, on the inside uh, I got the cold uh, but stand to your feet uh, and remind the neighbor uh, I was once dead uh, but I've been quickened uh, I've been quickened in my body uh, and for those uh, that don't have the Holy Ghost uh, the Lord is waiting uh, to live in your house uh, all you got to do uh, is garnish uh, your house uh, of unbelief uh, of sin uh, but watch God uh, he said I'll do it for you uh, I'll go to Calvary uh, to clean up your house uh, just so I can live in it uh, you just got to open up uh, you just got to receive it uh, you just got to open your mouth uh, he said in his word uh, if you open it why he said, I, I, I will feel it. I got to get you out of here. But I feel like that the whole house be the dose of the Holy Ghost. I dare everybody to open your mouth and say, Lord, feel me again. I need a refilling of the Holy Ghost. Pour, pour, pour in my house. Pour in my body. Yes, sir. It's the spirit that alives us, that awakens us up. You need more of the spirit. Not philosophy not treating not tricks not gimmicks you need more of the spirit so you can live so you can live so you can live And it is through it is through the resurrection that we are quickened that we are alive again listen saints of God if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost you are living a dead life but he makes it easy for us he that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled with what? His spirit. It is the spirit of God that quickens us or that ignites us uh, so we can be joined together uh, during the rapture. Or the catching away. He says, have a seat. He says, I need to put you in remembrance of where you used to be because if the Lord Jesus Christ would come back in the state that you used to be well come on somebody we would be lost he says but Ephesian church I want to put you in remembrance that you were once idolaters I said they used to worship uh, the goddess Diana he said I want to put you in remembrance the stuff and the foolishness you used to do that alone should put a posture of gratitude and thanksgiving that you respond to God. The things I used 
to do. Watch this. Not only I don't do them no more, I don't want to do them. That's the power of Calvary. It takes the desire from us. Come on, somebody. That's what the blood does. And because Jesus conquered death, hell, and the grave, he conquered the ultimate, praise the Lord, how would I put it, a consummation of life. He conquered it and said all power in heaven and earth is in my hand. I give life. Hallelujah. I take life. I'm the giver of life. So at one point, we were afraid to die. Because we had no hope. We were afraid of death. Hear your pastor strongly. I'm talking about those that were fighting against death because they knew they were not ready to die. heard it with my own ears fighting death because they rejected Calvary watch this when it was free the last thing you want is to know that your life is slipping away and you rejected God See, we come to these services, Easter services, resurrection service, and we don't understand. Yes, Jesus got up, but some of us still remain in the grave because we refuse to accept what was freely given to us. So we come with our wonderful clothes on. We go to our restaurants. We take wonderful pictures, and nothing's wrong with that. But living as a dead man walking. Saints, we don't embrace death as if we desire to die. Because I don't believe saints need to die before their time. But we have victory even in death. It is very difficult. This is the altar call. It's very difficult, Brother Dennis. I've preached many funerals and it is very difficult trying to encourage family members when they even know that their loved ones have rejected God. I'm not talking about, I'm not sure if they, no, I know they rejected God. And it's difficult because I can't lie for nobody. such a master deceiver that he makes us believe that we have to come to God perfect that we have to come to God praise the Lord with everything in our lives in order in order to be saved he didn't come for those who were whole he came for the sick and the lost and if you haven't been born again you are sick and you are lost But he came for you. This is a reflective message because Paul said, I need to put you in a posture of understanding what Calvary did. He quickened us. He gave us life when we were living a dead one. I mean, many of us, I was reflecting in my bed. I got five minutes. I was reflecting on my bed. Amen. I said, man, I should have lost my life multiple times. Multiple times. My, my, my sister was here last week, and some of you all met her, and uh, we was reflecting on my lifestyle, my childhood growing up, and we were trying to recall all the friends that friends I had that are no longer with us or locked up doing life 
I'm, I'm not fabricating. I'm locked up doing life. I reached out to one, met him I, on Facebook. I said, man, I said, you know, I reached out to him, man. How you doing, man? I, man, I caught an L. I said, man, I'm glad. You know, I'm glad you got out when you did. Are y'all hearing me? I mean, one bullet away from lifting my eyes in hell. Come on, somebody. One drink away. One party away. One lay away. Come on, somebody. Some of us should be walking around here with AIDS in our bodies. Some of us should be dead. Come on now. But the Lord says, I'm going to keep the door open. I didn't get up so you can acknowledge my power. I'm God in flesh. I got up so I can give you power. So you can overcome the works of the enemy. Self-will, self-power, self-preservation won't do it in this hour. It never could. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, how was how was Easter Sunday? Oh, we preached. Oh, we had a wonderful time. We talked about the resurrection, but yet living a dead life. I'm going to open this altar quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time. Real quick. If you haven't been water baptized in Jesus' name, come quickly. Come on, somebody give their life to the Lord. Come on, give your life. You don't have to try to figure it out. Death does not try to figure you out. When death has been given an assignment to take life, it comes. I know I've heard I've heard a brother Damien I've heard many people say well years ago they used to use scare tactics you know the Pentecostal episode in church you just scare folk into salvation I'm glad I'm glad I was scared into salvation oh yes I am but watch this we don't even have to use scare tactics just look at this world that we're living in are you sure you can afford to die tonight. Are you sure? Do you have the power over death, hell, and the grave? If you don't have that, you need to come to this altar. The Lord can fill you with the Holy Ghost immediately. It don't take long. Now let me share this with you. Being filled with the Holy Ghost is not denominational. It, it is not a monopoly for Pentecostals, apostolics, whoever. It is those who hunger and thirst. He'll fill you. And revelation will come afterwards. You don't have to understand the oneness of God to be saved. That will come through the revelator, which is the spirit of God. So he'll fill you if you believe. He'll fill you if you trust him. And there might be some today you need a refilling. Come on down. Come on down. I just need to be refilled. I, I just need my cup to overflow again. Come on down. In the name of Jesus, as we pray for these four on this altar. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it's, it's a burning on me because I, I don't want us, I don't want us to be comfortable with, well, I got prayer. That, that is not going to fight against the sting of death. You got to get to a place where you say, I am not going to let him go until he saves me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We got one getting ready to go down in, in the waters of baptism. That's how you're going to respond. We ought to give God praise. Somebody said, I want to get out of these brave clothes. Anybody want to change today? That child, that woman, excuse me, could come out of that water filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, who else? Who else? I want you, I want you to understand your pastor has been in prayer all this week. And I've been asking God to work on the hearts of man. Because this thing is real. When you cross over, that's it. That, that's it. Can't, no, you can't pay a priest to pray you out. That false teaching of the Catholic Church. You can't get prayed out of hell. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life. Hear your pastor. Everyone lift your hands right now. Everyone you lift your hands and say, Lord, give me life. Come on. Come on. Ask him, Lord, give me life. Well, I was... I, I was baptized this way as a child and don't, don't allow traditions to pull you away, to hinder the baptism in the only name that died for you. Come on. You get up in newness of life. You get up and you walk in the newness of life. That's what Paul meant when he said, we are quickened. We are quickened. We are made alive. Let me say this and I'm going to get you out of here. But some of us can be honest. Our lives are not where we want them to be. Come on, be honest. Some of y'all, y'all tired of the rigor removal. Rigor remo You're tired of going through the motions. You're tired of living this, this constant revolving door that leads to nowhere tired of it I feel the heaviness that somebody is tired in here somebody is tired in here hear me ask God to give you a spiritual ear open your, open your mouth and say Lord give me a spiritual ear come on say Lord give me a spiritual ear if you're tired come on down That's what the resurrection is for. If you're tired, come on down. Come on. Come on. Come on, if you're tired. You're tired of trying to figure it out. Come on. Let's give the Lord praise all over the house. We can at least do better than that for the ones going down in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give God praise. All over the house. Come on. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise for the word. Oh, I forgot a praise for the word. 
Hallelujah. Thank you for your sacrifice, King. Thank you for dying on Calvary's cross. Thank you for getting up saying, all power of death, hell, and the grave is in my hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and offer God the fruit of your lips. He got up so I can get up. He got up so I can get up. Hallelujah. We honor the presence of the Lord in this place even right now. We thank and praise God for a mighty move of God. If you are encouraged by the word that we received on today, let it be known, signified, let God know that you're appreciative of the word that we received today. It does not matter how long you have been in the faith. It does not matter if you are a pew baby. Everybody needs a reminder of just how significant the sacrifice of our great and masterful God is. Easter for many is a checkbox. I'm going because I'm expected to be there. But when you think about the sacrifice that God made on our behalf, we should be flooding the doors every Sunday with a spirit of gratitude, acknowledging the great sacrifice that our great and powerful God made. And we honor and praise God for his move in this place. Morning Star, we prayed that somebody leave here forever changed. And in just a few moments, somebody made a decision that they wanted to go down the waters of baptism. I don't want to ever get comfortable with just hearing information like that and just going through the hook. Can we give God a hand clap of praise for his move? I don't want to ever get in a posture where I take that for granted. So we honor and praise God for that soul that the candidate's going down in waters of baptism. We thank and praise God for each and every one. We thank and praise God for the word on this Sunday morning. We thank and praise God for you, you, and you. Morning Star, we thank and praise God for our, our visitor that made his way out here. Can we salute our visitor? They could have been anywhere else and they decided to be in fellowship with us. And we honor and praise God for each and every one in their respective places. As a reminder, please remember that this is the first Wednesday. I believe this is first Wednesday. This Bible Empowerment this Wednesday will be virtual uh, this Wednesday. Continue to follow us on Facebook, on our website, and across our YouTube platforms for more information. Um, please remember the upcoming services that were made mention to as well, other announcements. Our teen and youth service on this Friday. This Friday, is that correct? This Friday coming up. Give God a hand clap of praise for that. Sister Crystal but Butler has been feverishly waiting to get us back into the fold. We are opening back up our services. Our auxiliaries met even over the last week to finalize our calendar. And we want you all to come out and support what God is doing here in Morning Star. So if you have your little ones, bring them out on this Friday. Come out and let's have church in Jesus' name. Is that all right? Any other announcements before we dismiss? Any other announcement before we dismiss? Remember Bible Empowerment. Remember your brothers and sisters who you do not see. If not, let us stand to be dismissed in Jesus' name. As I customarily say, if you do not see your brothers and sisters, reach out to them, let them know that you love them and that you appreciate them and that you're thinking about them in Jesus' name. With uplifted hands, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you once again for your love, your kindness, your tender mercies upon our life. Father, we're grateful, Lord God, for your word on today, reminding us, Lord Jesus, oh God, that you got up so we can get up too, Lord Jesus. Oh God, help us to lead, live, Lord God, with the confidence, Lord God, oh God, that you have victory, therefore we have victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, remember, Lord God, each and every one under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Lord God, whatever, Lord God, our brothers and sisters are facing on the other side of the threshold, Father, it is well with our soul, Lord God. Lord God, there is provision waiting for us on the other side of the threshold. Lord God, there is healing waiting for us on the other side of the threshold. There is confirmation waiting for us on the other side of the threshold. Father, Lord God, give us a spirit, Lord God, to move. Lord God, give us a spirit of obedience to move. Lord God, give us a spirit, Lord God, to speak. Oh God, that which you have, Lord God, given us to say in these last and evil days, Lord God. Father, we ask you, Lord God, to bless us as we leave this place forever from your presence. Shield us and protect us across the dangerous highways. And now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, may it rest, rule, and abide with us. Henceforth, now, and forevermore. It is in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and me. Amen. Peace be unto you. 
Happy Resurrection Sunday in Jesus' name.